Hey guys, welcome to the channel and to part 4 of the Notion tutorial series. Today, I'm going to be talking about the gallery feature, how to use it and how to make a watch tracker as suggested by Army in the last video. If you haven't seen the other parts of this series, I'll leave the playlist in the upper right corner. So let's get into it and jump into Notion. So here we are on my Notion page. Okay, so how do you add a gallery into your page? First off, you can actually just click on this. So there's a gallery feature over here or you can just press slash so if you type gallery you can see two types of galleries inline and full page you can also just hold slash and scroll all the way down to this database section where you can see gallery inline over here and gallery full page over here so for this watch tracker i actually want to have a full page gallery but i'll show you what a inline gallery looks like so you click on it this is what an inline gallery looks like and i'll show you applications of this later on so if we delete that and just turn it into a full page gallery, click on this, transform the entire thing into a gallery. So what this actually has is, you know, it says here to do and completed to do, and you're used to seeing the gallery with photos because this is actually the contents of the page. So if you press, for example, properties, you can actually see page content or page cover. So if we click on this and then we push add cover, it's going to add a random cover to it. Let's wait for it. There you go but you can't see it here. So if you want to swap between that, you press properties, you click card preview, you look for card preview, page content, page cover, and you should wait, there you go, and the cover pops up. So that's how you add photos to a gallery. But you can also change the card size, so you know, small, medium, or large, depending on if you want to put more emphasis on the photo or if you have a lot more to fit in one page. So you know, you can just put fit image in the shrink it or you can just keep it as a full one i prefer to keep it as the full one so that is basically what a gallery is if you want to show for example created when it was created you can go over here look at the show in gallery and just push this button and that should display that property on the bottom of this page so let's for example keep it at a small you can see all the dates when it was created so this is basically the date when i clicked on make a gallery and it made these so that's the real quick basics on how to use a gallery so let's actually move on to the tutorial section of this one because you'll actually see a lot of the gallery in how you make the watch tracker so first off we have already this full page gallery and then we need to change these so we need to change the properties so I'm gonna go delete that because I don't really need that in a watch tracker. Change this instead of a created time, let's call it status. So we go over here, we go get the select and then name this to status. What does status do? So status is, for example, currently watching or upcoming or done or plan to watch. Okay, so you might be wondering why there are multiple ones. So currently watching is, you know, obviously what you're currently watching. Done is what you already finished. And then you might be wondering why there's upcoming and plan to watch. So plan to watch is going to be for those shows that are already out and already completed and you just want to watch them. Upcoming is for the shows that you're looking out for. So you kind of have that flexibility of like tracking everything you want. So for example, we'll, call, we'll just call this part currently watching. And then the next one we need is the season. Season isn't really the season that you think it is. So it's not like number of seasons it has. But because I'm actually making this more fit to anime, which I watch a lot more, it's actually the anime season. So winter 2021, spring 2021, like that kind of season. Sum summer 2021 and fall 2021. So you can add whatever season you want here. You don't really have to have this season, but you know, you can just have it there. And then the next one is going to be a date. So this is going to be, oh, I forgot, over here, release date. In case you wanna know the release date and actually you wanna know this for the upcoming one. So if it's upcoming, you can have the release date over here. And then I'll just clear that for now. Next is, the genre so the genre is actually going to be a multi-select because something can have different genres so 
I was gonna type movie select, but genre. And these genres can have a lot of different genres, so I'm just gonna type these out and I'll speed through that. So there you go, we have all the genres that I have so far or I have in the ones that I'm watching listed down. So you can just pick which one you want. So this can also help you decide on what show you want to watch depending on what the theme is. Next is the type. So we'll call this type and it's going to be another select. So what do you mean by type? So I have two different types that I determined which is a binge show or a weekly show. So a binge show just means that it's already done and I'm just watching it at my own pace and a weekly show is something that I watch out for every week. So there, so we'll just keep it like that. Then the next one is weekly release. So this only applies for the ones that are weekly shows. So weekly release and then we just type all the days of the week. So that is completed. Then the next one is watch period. So watch period is actually the time you spent watching it. So it's just going to be date because if you look at the date, you have end date. So for example, I start today and it I finish it tomorrow. You can still see that there is an end date. So we'll clear that too. So watch period and then the last one is rating. Rating will actually pick as a select. So rating is just going to be what you think of the show. So if we, for example, use the star system, so we have one star, I'm going to, I use emojis, but I can't access the emojis when I'm recording. Let's see. Yeah, I can't access emojis while I'm recording. So there you go. We'll do it this way. So we'll just use asterisk in place of stars for now. So there you go. And then one star, two star, three star, four star, and five star. You can just keep it. You can actually just make it, instead of a star system, you can just make it out of 10, like 1 out of 10, 2 out of 10. We'll just color these yellow just thematically. There you go. So since we have that, we can basically work on the rest of this tracker. So this is, for example, show number 1. Currently watching, and there you go. We can just pick random ones, so like comedy, supernatural, and it's a binge show. So it doesn't release every week. Actually, if we want to show th that part, we turn on weekly show. And then, for example, weekly releases on Monday. And then the watch period, I start today. So we don't have a rating yet because, of course, you haven't finished watching it yet. And the release date is empty because, for example, you don't know the release date. There you go. So you can see that it only shows currently watching. So this is where the tutorial kind of gets a little bit more complex. So if you look at here you see it has add a view so what does add a view mean that means you can look at this in different ways so for example this is the all like basically this is what you're gonna see when you look at everything so if we go over here to properties i can show you what displays so right now it shows the page cover it shows the small size so let's let's delete these pages actually so we can focus on show one, which is under the currently watching tab. So properties, you want to have the name, the status, the type, and yeah, basically you just kind of want to keep those three. So status, type, and name, because you don't really want to have that complicated you look at everything and every detail about the show when you're looking at everything. When you're looking at, for example, it can reach up to like 50 shows over here. So you have name, the status, and the type. And you don't really have to do anything to it. I prefer to add a sort. So a sort is basically how it's going to be ordered. So I'll show you more of this later on when it actually applies. So the sort that I put on mine is status first then type then name and what does that and yeah what does that mean so for status it actually sorts it out by status first so if you look at it the status is currently watching so it'll show it'll show all of the shows in this order 
So it's a select, right? So you thought it might be like alphabetical, but it actually goes in order of the way you put here. So currently watching first, and then the ones that are done, and the ones that are upcoming, and the ones that you plan to watch in that order. So for example, I have show two, which would be something that's done. You'll see it actually happens right after, or actually is there right after currently watching. And then show three would be under upcoming and then show four would be plan to watch the kind of cool thing about this for example if show four is already done it moves up in front of show three even if three is supposedly like kind of earlier or in the sorting system that you usually expect it would be before four so that's how it works so if you move it back it arranges itself that way and then the type that means it'll show this one so it'll show binge shows first then weekly shows so let's take it with show number two if show number two was a binge show it should actually because it's underdone it shouldn't go in front because it sorts it by the top status first it sorts it by currently watching done upcoming or plan to watch first before it sorts by weekly show or binge show so we have for example show three we'll say it's also underdone and then we'll have it as a weekly show you can see that this stays in front of this so you can't really swap it around see it says remove sorting that means you know it's not allowed so we'll reset this back into what it originally was so that is like, that is the all view. So if we add another view, click on gallery over here, we'll call this currently watching. Great. So the view, if you want to look at the previous one we just saw, is here. It's gallery view. But if you want to edit the name, go over here and just type all. And that's it. You just rename it. So we look back all. If you want to look at the currently watching or the new one that we're looking at, we go back here so you can see it's not in order because there is no sorting so the first thing that we want to do is click on filter click on filter add a filter so this just limits what you can see in this view so what we want to do is we want to change status is currently watching because we want to look at all the ones we're currently watching so it only shows show one because that's the only one if we go back to all with the currently watching like label on it go back here we can change everything so change it to page cover so the airplane comes back and change it to small which i prefer because i watch around 20 animes at the same time because i watch a lot of weeklies and then for here while we're in the properties tab you want to show the name the status because you want to know where you are the type so if it's a weekly show if it's a binge show the weekly release and the genre so you can see it's out of order so if i want to move the genre to the bottom like how i expect it to be i just drag this all the way down and that reorders all of it so i want to show which one we're at if it's a binge show or a weekly show because that helps it reorder when it's coming out if it's a weekly show and what genre it is so that's how you basically rearrange it so if i want genre to be here i can just move it around and that's how you sort what is shown then, so we already have the properties, we have the filter, and then we also now want to have the sorting. So I want to sort it first by type. So it's going to get sorted by if it's a weekly show or a binge show first. And then by weekly release. So for the ones that are weekly release or weekly shows, you can sort them by, you can see what, what comes out on Monday, what comes out on Tuesday, what comes out on Wednesday, all together. And then lastly, we want to sort it out by name. So it's going to be a lot easier to just look at them. So it's going to be sorted alphabetically. So if we have three Monday release shows, it's going to be sorted alphabetically and it's just going to be easier to take a look at everything. The next one we want to do is around the same thing, but it's going to be another view, another gallery, and we will name this done. So this will be the display for all the shows that are already finished watching. So filter, do the same thing. So click on filter and then status is done. So it'll show all the ones that are done. So now the done is show two. Go on to properties, 
change this to page cover. We don't have a cover here, so let's just add a random cover. There you go. So that's the cover that Notion decided for it. And then page cover, card size, small. I just prefer small because there's going to be a lot in each page or a lot of entries and also really long information sections. Now for this one, instead of it being the same one as the one we had for currently watching, the ones applicable for a show that's already done is the name, the status, so we know where we are, the type, so if, it, if you actually watched it weekly or you just binged it, the genre, which is over here, the season, the watch period, and the rating. Now, if you want to reorder them, or you can just go over here. For example, show two is done, and it was showing last season, and it's a fantasy drama, and it was a weekly show, or it was a binge show, and then I rate it like a four star. So it's out of order, and my preferred order for this is name, then status, then type, season, genre, watch period, and rating. So you can see it that way. So for example, the watch period was September 16 until 30. Then you can also see that there. You can also help track it. So that's why I kept the photo size to a minimum because this is going to be a lot of information for you to see. Then, so we already have the filter set up with the status is done. So it'll only show the ones that you consider done. And then when you sort them, I like sorting them by watch period. So you can see the order of what you finished when. So if we have another one that's like, we'll call this show 2.5. And we watch this, we name that September. So if we watch this in August 10, it should jump in front because we sort it by watch period. So ascending just means earlier dates come first. There you go. So we'll delete this. Then another one. So we already have all currently watching done. We go to gallery. We'll call this upcoming. So there, it'll show all the upcoming ones. So as usual, go to the properties, change it to page cover, and then change the size to small. And then go to filter. And then status is upcoming. So that's how you just sort everything out. Go over here, we'll add a cover so we know that it's there and it works so there you go you know that the page covers thing works now the ones that we want to display on this is the name the status so we know where we are the release date because it's upcoming and the genre of what you want to see because you know for example you want to know when the release date it is because it's upcoming so for example it comes out December 10 and it's a mystery romance then you can see all of that there and that's all the information you need to see the upcoming anime because you don't really know what season it's gonna come out in you don't really know if you're gonna binge it or you're gonna watch it weekly you don't know when it's gonna be released and you haven't watched it so the watch period is relevant and same thing for the rating so that's all you need to know when something is upcoming now the last one we want to make is go on to gallery you can just type plan to watch so these are the shows that are already done and you just want to binge them same thing filter status is plan to watch show show four you can just add your cover this cover can actually be anything you can download the poster of the of the show the anime you're watching and then just change cover upload do the same thing and then you can just reposition it so over here page cover card size small then for the plan to watch what you want to know is usually the name same thing always have the status in there the release date and then the genre i think that's the only ones that are applicable when you want to see a new anime that you just want to binge so you don't really need what season it was in because i don't think that really matters and then you don't really need to know what type it is because you're probably just gonna binge it so it's always gonna be labeled a binge anime and then you haven't watched it so you don't have a watch period and it's not released weekly because it's already done so no weekly release there you go and then for the properties that you want to see you have that right go over here 
For example, it was released, I don't know, it was released in February 10th of this year. And it's a f- food horror? Okay, let's just say food horror. Because that's really all you want to know. So, what status it is, when it was released, and what it's generally about. And then that should help you figure out what you want to watch next. And then if you want to just change it, if you want to watch it, then click on currently watching and it moves to the other one. So let's say we have show number five and it's already on plan to watch. So if you're on the plan to watch board and you already have the filter on, you can just automatically see plan to watch on anything you add. But if it's on currently watching, click currently watching, it's not here anymore because it jumps to currently watching. That's how this entire thing works. Okay, so actually for upcoming, since I forgot to show you guys, the sorting for this is just release date. So you want to see what show releases first or what show is the one that you should look out for first. So if we have that, we can actually move another one in front of it if it releases earlier than December 10. So for plan to watch, I don't really have a sort for this because I think that if you want to binge something, you can just scroll through and pick through it. So you don't need a sort for this. You can just click on whatever. So that is basically how you make this type of little watch tracker. So I can show you some other applications of a gallery. I almost forgot before I show you the applications of it, this is actually very tailored to what I watch a lot more right now, which is a lot of anime. But if you want to adapt this for something a little bit less just anime, you go over here, you can add another property, you can just make it a select, and then I don't want to call it type again, but I'll just call it media. So this one, you can just actually type anime, anime movie, TV show, or a movie. I don't like how this TV show is typed, so I can correct it over here. Also, if you want to make it aesthetic, you can also change the colors by looking at this, clicking here, and changing the colors right there. So there you go. For example, we got a TV show, movie, whatever. And then you can still kind of use the same kind of terms for it. So if you're currently watching the TV show, go like that. You don't really need the season or release date. You can still have the genre there. You can still say it's like a binge show or a weekly show since TV shows do release weekly. There you go. And then for movies, it's kind of the same thing as a binge show, but you just don't label it as a binge show. So you just go over here. For example, it's a movie and then you just have your rating, watch period. You don't need the weekly release. You don't need to do that. Or you can just add another one here. Just type movie over here. So binge show, weekly show, or a movie. And that should really just help you sort everything out. So since you don't really change anything from these already preset systems, just go to currently watching. You can see that, for example, this is an anime, this is a movie. So that's basically what you can do about that. So same thing, you can transfer it between sections. So if your movie's done, push done, disappears from the currently watching tab and goes into the done tab. And that's basically it if you want to adapt this to a movie setup or a non-anime setup. There you go. So now let's actually jump into the template that I made. Just remember that it doesn't have this like changing media, movie, anime, movie, TV shows. So if you use that template, you would have to do that yourself, but that should be easy enough. So yeah, let's go to the template. So here we are at my templates page. So an application of the gallery is in my semester planner. So if you click on this, this, okay, if we let it load, this is actually a gallery. So you can see the same things I mentioned to you before. But this one is kind of weird because if you click on one of them, the page cover is different. So it's not the flower that you saw. So how does that work? Well, that's because that photo is in the page. And this is set to, go on to properties, it's set to page content. So if there is a photo within the page, the page content will prioritize that photo as the cover. If you just have that and then it's small and then show on first load 50 pages, 
I don't really have 50 classes, so this is what you see. That's the same thing on my first semester template, but this is actually for dark mode, so it's gonna look real weird on light mode. So look, it's real weird on light mode because I did customize this for dark mode, but this is also another gallery. I'll just delete this one. Yeah, so this is also another gallery. You can still see the same thing of the kind of tabs over here and then the colors. If we stretch this a little bit to the side, you can see this. So the ones that are displayed are these ones. There you go. Then we'll drag this back to its original place. There you go. And then I can show you the full anime watch list that I made. If you don't really want to make the one that I made or if you don't want to make the tutorial yourself or you might make the watch list yourself that I just did a tutorial on, you can just click on this. It's in the link to this page is in the description if you want to just duplicate it. So this is what it looks like when it's filled in. So this is the all page. So you can see this is everything. So you can look and the sort is status, type, and name. So this is how I'm going to explain status, type, and name. So status is this top one. So it sorts it by this first. So currently watching. So you see all the currently watching first. Then you see the ones that are upcoming, then the ones that are done, then the ones that I plan to watch. Why is that when I ordered it as currently watching, done, upcoming, and plan to watch? Because if you click on this, you see that done is there, under. So if we want to put all the ones that are done above, just move that. And instead of it, you know, having the upcoming ones right there, it's up here, and it's already at the done section. So that's how the sorting works. So the status, so you see the currently watching first, and then the type. So if you can see, these are both under currently watching, but this is a binge show and this is a weekly anime. So you see the binge shows first. And then in terms of name, you can just see that these are all weekly anime, but they're sorted by, they're sorted in alphabetical order. There you go. So all of these are like that. Then if you look at the currently watching, it shows you all of the currently watching. You see that the weekly anime that is released on Monday. So there's literally no done anime, upcoming anime, or plan to watch. It's just all the currently watching because that's how the filter works. And then for the sort, it shows the type first. So it shows, you know, bin show, weekly anime, then the weekly release. So all these are Monday release shows. So they're all grouped together. And then each of these or since they're all released on monday they're just sorted by alphabetical order that's the same thing for all of these and then when it's done well the the done page you can see that these are the times when i watch them these are actually real these entries are actually real i'm not using this for my watch tracking but i did enter real anime that i watched when i did when i watched them and my ratings for them so I actually used emojis for this one, so you don't have to use the asterisk thing, the asterisk thing that I did a while ago. There you go, go out, and you can just see it that way. So over here, you can see the sort is by watch period, so what order I watched them in. So you can see I watched Quintessential Quintuplet Season 1 first, then Season 2, then this is the order, so the one that I finished latest is Ace Attorney Season 2, and that's how it's sorted. And this is how it looks like when you actually add the anime photos in it. Then we go to upcoming. So these are just four of the upcoming ones I'm watching out for. And they don't really have release dates yet. So I don't have the release dates on them yet. But it just says the theme of the show. And then the last one is the plan to watch. So this is when they were last released. Or when they were first released actually. And this just tells me how early these shows are. And how... And actually, kind of sets my expectations for the animation quality and all CGI use and stuff like that. So it's just like that. It's not really sorted by anything, so you can see that W comes before M or S, and that's just comes in order of when I enter them. And I don't really mind since when you're looking for stuff to watch, you can just pick one and then change it. So yeah, and this is it for the gallery template. It's pretty simple. So yeah, that is the gallery feature on Notion. I've used it a lot of different ways before, but mainly to sort out information that you want to attach a photo to. If you guys have any ideas on ways to use the gallery or request for Notion templates, tutorials, leave them in the comments below. 
If you found this video interesting, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this from me, then hit the subscribe button and the bell to know when a new video is out. I try to upload every week, Monday nights at 8. I guess that's all for this video. Bye, guys!